Hey guys, MTG Noob here. I uh, jumped into two man. On the draw, I really don't want to be greedy and keep this hand. But it has a lot of, a lot of, I just almost said a lot of ass, a lot of gas. If I do hit a second land, that being said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really far seek while I'm going to ship this one. Alright, this one's way better. Not amazing. Um, the fact that stuff comes into to, to play tapped isn't great, but it's all right. Ah, well, no, it doesn't. Not anymore. Ho, ho, ho. Play a far seek on the next turn. Nothing wrong with a little far seek in action. Freaking far seeking. That's what I say. I don't say that ever, but we might as well start saying it now. All right, if this is going to be this deck, we're going to probably have some troubles. Let's roll out here. Wow, they gotta just make one of these make green mana at the top. We're gonna forgo playing this and is it more relevant to have the blue or the black? Well we have the black, so let's get the blue going. We will pass. Uh in case I do draw the static caster on our turn for whatever reason. Uh-oh, don't make another Rancor. That would be bad. Rancor's bad, okay. Arbor Elf's bad, okay. I think, unfortunately, I will be playing this gentleman here in exchange for this gentleman here. I don't think we're at a point where we could just sit back and take much more. Maybe that's bad. Tramples over for three, then he's a five. Go to ten. I think we're going to go to ten. Plus, if he has like a predator ooze, we're just uber boned. Don't have a predator ooze. He's got a tusk of his own. A wolfier avenger would have played very Ooh! Ooh! Not like that. Alright, we're gonna try to get lucky here. Is that right to try to get lucky though? Death touch, straight up trade with this. Odds of our luck are not as strong. I don't think I want to try to get lucky here. Let's see. We play the Tracker's Instinct. Now I, I think I think we just play and pair them. Go up to fifteen. Pair them. Say okay. Primordial Hydra, you're so awesome. It's a song. It's real. It's a real song. Do I care about this is the question. I think I block. I get a beast. We gotta kill this now. We're not going to pair. See what he ran cores. Oh, oh, that's a beating. So we had the rancor, huh? All right. Well, I don't think we win this. So let's go for the gold here and try to hit the static caster. Wow. Brick City. gonna lose this game. I also need to make one of these make red, I believe. Okay, and we will say no. And we'll make a dude. 
go dude we'll say yes and now we will most likely lose oh my jeez we needed that so maybe I mean maybe we should have went for it take 10 take 12 we really we really don't have a good plan for what we're doing we're just straight up dead to this we can't kill it I mean I guess what we do at this point is block and trade here take 10 block and trade here take 4 go to 2 play a thrag tusk we have no outs to this essence harvest oh my god good game sir good game good game essence harvest wow I don't even know what to say to any of this I'm a, I'm a sad panda <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you guys can come in. Appetite for Brains doesn't seem like it does anything. Deathrite Shaman seems good against Rancor, but as we saw before, maybe not the greatest. I think Rakdos Return could potentially be pretty backbreaking against him. I don't know if boarding out the Tracker's Instinct is wrong. Um, I think I'd rather have this, and I would definitely like this. Stealing a giant Hydra or a giant Ooze is pretty good. I don't know if you would bring in Slaughter Games against Predator Ooze. I don't think you would. Um, I don't think it's that relevant. I think the combo's fine. Do we need one less Tusk? I don't want to have too many 5 drops. I don't even know if these Snapcasters are going to be really good. That was just that was just wowses. I just got like woo. I made the channel fireball sound. I was like woo. Uh, we need to cut one card. Do I really want these thrag tusks? I think I do. I want all these. I want to cut a hunt master. It comes down a turn earlier. Thrag tusks just is good. It's a real head scratcher. I'm literally scratching my head. Let me know what you would have done here. I guess I'm going to cut a Thrag Tusk, but that seems wrong. Snapcaster. Pillars probably aren't that great against him. No, they're good. They're pretty sick. All right, I'm going to cut a Thrag Tusk. And we'll see. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. Would you like to keep? Sure. This hand looks pretty sausages. Alright. We're gonna have to far seek though. Unless we hit a blue source. And this guy is very frail against what we're up against. I'm sure he's got tragic slips and the sorts. We will go for. I don't really want to go for this just quite yet. I think I'll go for the far seek. Try to speed ahead. Full speed ahead, Captain. Take three. Okay, so we're going to static caster and shoot this when he goes to combat. Hopefully he tries to rancor it. That would be nice. He seems like he knows what he's doing though. Oh my god, I can't play this. Oh, MTG noob, what the F is wrong with you? You're such an idiot.
Yay, now we get to lose to Predator Ooze. Well, I could rack doses three cards away. Go to twelve. But that kind of gives him fuel for the fire. God, I'm an idiot. Alright, we'll go to 12. I'm going to try not to tilt. Try not to be a tilty panda here. Because I'm a tilty panda. Now, the debate is... Do we wait and let him just... Well, technically he doesn't have black mana just yet. So I guess we'll wait. Oh, and the Woodland Cemetery comes down. He's going to nug us for an extra two now. This is going to be a problem. If he, if we would have drawn a Tragic Slip or still draw a Tragic Slip or an Olivia, we, we have game against it. I'll block. No, oh, it seems bad. Yeah, I think I have to block there. Okay, that'll come back. Hopefully not to bite us in the buttocks. I think he'll nug us. Rectos in your return, huh? Okay, so, well, Rakdos returned for three. We'll see how good this this is. Takes three, and he's chucking three. Wow, huh? Hmm, you really got to draw. We can't let this guy go. He's going to shoot us for two. So I guess let me do this now. He gets us for two now versus getting us for four over the course. I think we save a life that way. So we'll go to four. I mean, we could just keep chumping this. I don't think it's wise of us to lose this combo. Go to four, then we'll shoot. We just hope he doesn't rip Rancor. Corpse Shack Menace. Okay. I'm gonna take it. Oh, that's great. And we'll play another Nightshade Peddler. Try to make sure we don't shoot our Nightshade Peddler. Okay, we'll say no. Say okay, we'll go to five. And we'll pair with this wolf. Then we'll let him go to combat. So that'll happen. Okay, that'll become a 5-5. Five five. We'll block there. Block there because we have to. Hopefully he bricked. And we could just race this. Okay, that 
was a very good draw for us. Seeing what he wants to do here. I think the fact that we have the Rakdos return in hand, we just offer up the Thrag Tusk. Because we can kill anything that's in play, and then we could shoot him. The fact that he doesn't rack it, the fact that he doesn't do anything there. Okay, sure. Okay. Well, this is gonna get eaten. He'll take five. Put on the aggression here. Okay, don't know why. I guess he's hoping to draw a trample. A trample spell would do it. So we'll get our. Practice return, I'll make sure I click all my buttons and we'll say OK. And then I guess we'll go to a next game. It's definitely a close one. So he has death right shamans of his own. Hmm. Wondering if I should bring these in just to name Predator Ooze. It seems like Predator Ooze is just very backbreaking against us, but I guess it's not as bad as it could be. In that case, these this Rakdos return was very good. On the draw, maybe I would bring this in on the play. Deathrite Shaman seems pretty good. Hunmaster seems okay. Thrag Tusks seem necessary. Don't really want to get rid of these. This might be a little slow on the draw. You know what I think? I think there's going to be a little bit too slow on the draw. Let's uh, run this back. Okay, I'm going to keep this. It's not amazing at all. But it does allow us a lot of wiggle room. like to have green on two. This will allow us to have green on two. No strangle root geist. That's a good one for us. He did keep a seven. Two blacks. Yep, this seems fine want to have blue next turn so we can start doing things. We might actually go Snapcaster for Seek here. That no longer seems like the line we want to take. I think we want to just be the aggressor. Just play dudes. Wow, this guy is in discard phase. That's never a good sign. Okay, we will shoot. Say okay. Draw a card. Swing, swing. Play a tusk. And that should be all she wrote. I don't see a way he comes back. It's fine. Bash, we could trample over. Trample's good, okay. Ooh, Rancor. Flip back our guy. That's fine. Just 
just have so much gas we're willing to say okay to a trade here and just upgrade our 2-2 two -two to a big old boy All right, so we have we have all gas. We're at 34, I think. I think we get a victory. Nice opponent. Shout out to uh Nomad Delta very pleasurable to play against good guy seems like well we take another one down and another one bites the dust and thanks for watching please check out the mtgnoob.com